take care of this Gracias. My Dragoons uh, came back, and my cavalry will kill the Roman infantry now. There you go. I actually decided to deploy this unit here in a space because they were trying to charge my guns, and I had a feeling I would need my guns. Now I just took my cavalry out of out of basically because too much enemy units, forest. You don't want to go there. Now since the threat passed, I decided to deploy my units again, like this. Only to find out that my cannons were actually badly deployed, so I had to redeploy them again. There they go. This unit is also exchanging musketry with their depleted units, which is nice. They are very far away, so they produce very little casualties, even against cavalry, which are big targets. Anyway, I still didn't notice that my dragoons were already back at this point. I had another unit of Gracias which I was bringing here. I was taking my Gracias out of there. The unit of Viegas came back. I suppose. I ordered this unit of mine to charge the Renatis with some satisfying results. Again, this mod is just awesome. And the way things behave, the way experiences represents fatigue. I think it is a bit of tweaking, but it's very ingenious the way that tiredness represents cohesion, which is very, which was very important at the time. You needed a, you needed a stable line to be able to be effective because since muskets were very ineffective, you needed a lot of units to basically needed a lot of musket balls to hit something. British numbers in the Napoleonic was like one hit in 500 bullets. And some French authors say some th things as low as one hit per 3000 bullets. something to rot again. They have so many they tried to attack me here but they failed. They just keep on coming. They have so many fresh legs so to speak. You see these units have probably seen so little combat because they are still have almost no experience they have still no experience at all. Which is remember a good thing. Now my grenades here are firing in a column which is not very effective. But yeah it's taking a bit of a toll, I think. And this unit of grenades now, this is dangerous, even though they are exhausted, they will catch this unit almost by the flying and will cause it to rot. Rot. Not rot, rot. So I'm really pulling this line here and there uh, to be able to take these guys over here and then start to slowly turn their flanks. And meanwhile my Gracia unit is coming. And my Usaros uh, sorry, Rubens are also coming. So these guys decided to leave. And my line infantry is there resting. Oh, I need to desperately over here. In the bird's eye view, you can see that I'm trying to hold them in air and try to resist the number pressure, which is working. More or less. 
a grenade is uh, exchanging musketry, but they're in the forest, so they're hard to eat, I think. My press is uh, here, they are resting, so that they can charge on the flank, probably with keeping the. Just not. Ah, uh, see. Yeah, there goes my artillery. They got charged by something. It's probably not a good idea to keep them in the forest because my... And so their grenade is broke this time. But there was a unit somewhere which... No, yeah, they also broke my, my grenade is because they're just too many. And they lost too many units. Almost 40, and 40 is 160 in real life. So you see, they have 120 man battalions, which represents 480 man battalions in real life. So I'm losing 40 units, 160 it's actually quite a lot, quite a lot indeed. And so, as soon as I manage to when Macrassia is here nearby and these units deployed, they cause the massive rout of these units. Just too much pressure. Too much pressure for them. <laughs> ah, and there the wind came back. I noticed, so I packed my 12 pounder and just started to run down the hill. I walked down the hill. See if I could reach my own. Now these guys are from my dance, these grenadiers. Which are concerned over their exposed flanks. And next I tried to make a bayonet shot of these guys, and this is when things started to go really wrong. So you see this unit routed. This unit is charging through the forest, which is not a good idea. These grenadiers came to attack these grenadiers to try to charge my guys over here. And they inflicted some casualties. But these guys didn't break as fast as I thought they would. This unit here is trying to get near getting some musket fire on their bows. So I'm moving my grasses to I think I'm basically shredding the infantry just to make sure they don't come back. And then I decided to charge my infantry on these guys. Which somehow they decided that the best route to an end was to go this way. It. Anyway, my 12 pounders are still trying to get away from these assholes. My general unit is here. My grenades are routing. These grenades are routing after the failed attack. I failed being a charge. They still cause some casualties, but not enough. Why the hell are these guys doing this? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, well, I decided to, yeah, recall my infantry. Might be a good idea. And I'm desperately needing it. Needing it. So these guys are... Yeah, how the hell are these guys even? That can send over their spools flank. Yeah, no kidding. We turned their flanks on the guys. Bunch of amateurs, really. Walking back. These are actually two units that were left behind. I'm not going to bother showing it just because it was just boring to kill them. So, yeah, they routed my grenadiers, I routed the uh, deaths, and their line, <laughs> their, li their other grenadiers, routed my line infantry. They will come back though. So, these guys are running and being chased by line infantry, which is shredding them. 
<sighs> so basically I decided to move these two units here, but take it slow. Like what the remaining units. I actually thought the situation was much tighter while I was actually playing with him. Yeah, I'm still you know, dominating the battlefield. They have no cavalry whatsoever other than the unit that decided to hide in here. My Croatians are here doing something or not. I know, I think they routed at the point. It's so hard to keep track of everything that's going on. So these guys are being chased by the line infantry, which is gaining cohesion, so it's actually gaining on my artillery by 12 pounders. Whereas Napoleon will call them jeune fille. And they broke. There you go. Ah, missed by a sec, by a millimeter. Actually, in game it will be four millimeters, but anyway. <laughs> so my grenade decided to rot as well. My other grenade is bastards. Fast forward this a bit. See my cavalry just moving, there's nothing much going on. I'm just waiting for my units to come back because they are important. Apparently, you can't win a battle without any troops. And now I'm trying to move them there, only they will go through a forest, and I didn't notice. Because that's something. Well, it's an urgent limitation, as soon as they hit a tree, it's like they're moving through thick Amazonian jungle. Go figure. So basically what I like doing is like, uh, this grenade is came back for them. Good for them. Basically what I like doing is to rot this unit here, this three units here, and this unit here. Four units. Now my grenadiers come back as well. Still with 81 men, which is not not bad at all. <coughs> so I'm exchanging some musket fire with these assholes. I will charge them with their grenades and they're big and scary. Let's just see what they see. Which is not much, actually. Which is kind of realistic as well. Since they use black powder, which made a lot of smoke. So I'm sending my heavy cavalry to deal with that pesky Renadius. I like having cavalry. Sons of bitches. I like my cannons are trying to hit these guys, but since they are in a very steep slope, it's very hard. They suffer little casualties. See? Not one. Not one at all. Not one whatsoever, sorry. And while well, there is just walking there, too. Making fun of me. And another of their grenades returned. Lovely. But now they are facing some musketry and they're shaking. Because they have a lot more men in there. I lost almost half their men. It's almost 240 men. And they're shooting my grenades in the back, cowards. Oh, their grenades meanwhile. Yep. 
off they go. And now I'm using my line of I'm looking at up here, actually, I'm trying to concentrate on the mini units here. But yeah, this battle is pretty much done and over with. Oh, these guys return. I didn't remember 